In less than one month, France will head to the ballot box to pick their next president. But so far, it's scandal, not policy, that has shaped this race. After a sweeping victory in the centre-right primary, Conservative François Fillon seemed like the favourite. But on January 25th, the satirical weekly Canal en Chenet broke the news that Fillon had employed his Welsh-born wife Penelope as a parliamentary aide, along with his children. There is suspicion she didn't work for the money, which totaled €680,000 over 15 years. And support for Fion has dwindled. I've been attacked by everyone, and I must in good conscience listen to you. Listen to this immense crowd that pushes me forward. But I must also wonder about those who doubt and are jumping ship. Their responsibility is immense, and so is mine. On the far right, National Front leader Marine Le Pen was also accused of misusing funds, with claims her party officials defrauded the European Parliament of about €340,000. But in early March, Le Pen said she would not cooperate with the investigation and ignored a court summons, crying foul play. I asked a year ago for the opening of this judicial inquiry. Me, I asked for it a year ago. It was denied, and as if by chance, everything speeds up just before the presidential vote. Do you think there is a single French citizen fooled by this? No one is fooled. On March 21st, Socialist Minister Bruno Le Roux stepped down from government after it emerged he'd also hired his daughters as parliamentary aides, earning €55,000. He stepped down after just 106 days in office. And with no candidate entirely clean, the mud flinging is an added layer of uncertainty in a race that was already full of surprises. When I look back at previous elections, it's very difficult to find one that's felt quite so volatile, uh, the polls quite so unpredictable, and at a time when, you know, it's not just France, but other elections in other Western democracies have seen exactly the same sort of disruption. So it's that, I think, that uh, is, the, is, is the main, main, most striking feature of this election. Across the Channel, from 2004 to 2009, more than half of British MPs misused their expenses, according to an official audit in 2010. French watchdog Mediapart says 20% of deputies here have financed their relatives, and while they're not likely to repay the funds in euros, candidates could pay dearly in voter confidence.